Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over this upper receiver here that you see in my hands and that you saw being fired throughout the intro. Uh, this is the Gemtech Integrally Suppressed 1522 upper receiver. As the name would indicate, it's integrally suppressed, right? So we have a nine inch barrel on there. And then this shroud right here uh, goes over the pinned uh, extension on there, which is essentially a monocore suppressor, but it also goes back behind the barrel itself as well. So you get all that added volume as well. Um, and it connects and threads basically right into the receiver right here. Um, so that is that. Also, we have a 10 inch MLOC rail. I should note that Although it looks like the M-Lock is all the way around, the functioning M-Lock slots are just at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock position. Of course, it is free-floated as well. Um, but we're going to do a few things here in the video. We're going to test the actual sound of it because I do have a calibrated decibel meter. And uh, we'll see what a few different loads produce. And then one thing that I think is interesting about this lower, or excuse me, this upper that surprised me is that, again, the barrel itself is 9 inches long. And uh, I was expecting most of your common bulk loads out there to be supersonic with that barrel length. Not quite. It's about 50-50. So if it's rated, you know, you look in your box and it's going to say like 1150 to 1250, as you guys will see here in a second, because we'll actually run it on a chrono. A lot of that stuff stays subsonic in this barrel, and that includes a lot of bulk ammunition out there. So uh, let's get out to the range. Again, check out the sound and then see what kind of velocities we're getting out of it and then come back here and uh, wrap it up at the end. Now we're going to see how quiet this thing actually is with the sound meter. We have some Syntec Federal stuff there that's supersonic in theory. Uh, and we will see um, how it does. The stand here is 1.6 meters off the ground. The meter is one meter to the left as per, you know, industry standards. It's comical. Now, just to give you like a frame of reference, if you guys watch my videos that I do with the meter up, when I just run the action on a regular AR-15, it's about 115 to 118 decibels. So that's how quiet that is. Uh, next up, we have some Gemtech subsonics. I actually haven't shot these using this gun yet, so I don't know how they're gonna function. We're gonna find out together. What that just told us is that those federal loads probably weren't going above the speed of sound. So uh, this is the fastest 22 that I had in my range bag. It's rated for uh, 1,435 feet per second velocity. It's the uh, Browning per Performance Rim Fire, they call it. It's a 40 grainer, so we'll see if this one goes supersonic. You guys see that other action going home? 113. I can tell you 100% that's cracking the sound barrier. I can hear it. That is still quiet though. Under 130 with supers. I'll take that all day. One thing I've been surprised with with the upper is just how many 22 rounds actually stay subsonic. Because um, the barrel, of course, is nine inches and then it has the can on there. So we got a few loads here that we're going to run through it and just see if they work for the first load. I've not tested it yet. This is the uh, CCI Palmer Coated Clean 22 subsonic uh, load. It's 40 grains rated for 1,070 feet per second. Of course, it's not going to get that out of this gun. But we're going to see if it functions. function just fine. Next up will be the CCI Mini Mag 22R SHP segmented hollow point. Uh, it is a 40 grainer as well, but this one's rated for uh, 1,235 feet per second. So typically it would be super, but we'll see. What's interesting is, uh, I'm sure many of you guys know this, what is the speed? of super and subsonic does change based on environmentals, elevation, those sorts of things. And to my ear, that first one sounded 
supersonic um, in these conditions right now. So right now it's probably 95. We're at about 300 feet of elevation and it's really humid, just for folks wondering. So that's interesting. The second two definitely did not sound supersonic. Now this one totally should be supersonic, but we're about to find out. Uh, this is the Aguila uh, 22 Super Maximum copper plated 30 grain bullet and it is literally a hyper velocity soft point. That is how they advertise it. I do not see any advertised velocity, but we'll see what it gets here and uh, find out. Yeah, so that's 100% supersonic. <laughs> like I can hear it. Obviously, you guys can see the numbers. It's breaking the sound barrier. All of them function too, and that's been the case to date. I've not had a single malfunction out of this upper receiver. A few questions that I'm sure folks will ask, we'll go over the materials here, we'll just kind of roll on in the spec sheet here on the side of your screen, but the actual barrel itself is 4140 steel, and then the uh, monocore itself is steel. The uh, sleeve here is aluminum. It is not rated for full auto fire. I may test that in the future, <laughs> we shall see. Um, and the upper receiver does not mate with your standard AR-15 lowers. You have to have the M&P uh, specific, M&P 1522 lower, I should say. Um, so I guess the pro to that is, right, um, you can, if you wanted to purchase this and have this type of setup, you can purchase your standard M&P 1522 and then, you know, apply for your stamp, but still have a usable gun um, while you're waiting for it. So there is that. Um, but the downside, of course, is that you can't get it just in this configuration if you want to as of right now. As of right now, it's just sold as the upper receiver, which includes our bolt and charging handle. And for folks that are new uh, to the 1522 system, the charging handle is not a standard AR-15 charging handle. That said, if you want aftermarket ones for it, uh, they're out there now. So there are several that make, you know, ambidextrous enhanced ones and stuff like that. Um, so that option is there for you. Um, in terms of price point on this one, uh, MSRP is all I've seen uh, because as of right now, when I'm filming this video, I have not seen these for sale because they were just announced yesterday publicly. And uh, MSRP is just over $600. So think about the price of you know competitive options out there i would say it is very competitive um, and having that integrally suppressed system is just super quiet as you guys saw uh, the 1522 is not a super quiet action per se as you guys saw when it was going forward you know uh, we're getting about 113 decibels so trying to keep it around that level is a relatively difficult thing to do from an engineering standpoint for a, a suppression system. So I think it's doing very, very well. As you guys saw by the numbers there, it's quiet, especially with those subsonic rounds or rounds that are staying subsonic in it. Uh, in terms of reliability, we had one round that it just wouldn't cycle correctly. And it was uh, Aguila 45 grain, and it was the lead nose uh, bullet, so non-copper jacketed. Everything else we fired in it has been completely 100% reliable. The majority of it has been uh, Federal, CCI, and Aguila, just for what it's worth, um, because that's the 22 I have stockpiled on hand. But yeah, reliability outside of that one round was 100%. With 22s, that's pretty good. 22s tend to be really finicky with ammo, so it ate a wide variety, only had an issue with one. I am not mad about that. Um, anything else? So I'm sure folks will ask. The optic, this is the ACSS primary arms uh, one to six with the 22 LR auto ranging BDC reticle. Um, I don't have a space to drop a link in the video description, uh, depending on where I'm posting this, but just so you know, any of the ACSS optics over at uh, primary arms, if you enter code Mr. Guns and Gear, you do get a uh, free mount with purchase. So there is that. I think that's it though. I think that wraps it up. It is a fun gun, it's a ton of fun great trainer as uh, we've already fully reviewed the M&P 1522s, two different models of it. Um, all of the things I've said before about it remain. Uh, 25 round magazines for free states if you're in, well, no states are really free, but more free states. They also do offer 10 round mags for those of you guys behind enemy lines. So there is that, but I think that wraps it up. The numbers speak for itself. It performed well. I like it. We're going to keep using it. You guys are going to see it in the future on the channel for sure. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Additionally, if you are subscribed, please check and see that you're actually subscribed because for whatever reason, uh, a lot of people have been unsubscribed from this channel in the last few months. So uh, just double check that, hit the notification bell if you want to make sure or ensure that you still see uh, all three or four videos that I'm putting up every week here. Um, and uh, 
that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.